how to automate dropshipping inside Shopify. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, let's see how we can get started. Hey everybody, welcome to TechPress. My name is Steven, and I'm gonna be showing you how we can make some dropshipping automation. And then later on, we don't have to do absolutely anything. So I think it's gonna be really a lifesaver. But first of all, you need to understand that we might be making just a few investment in order to make this work. So you want to have, let's say, for like 10 bucks or 15 bucks in your um, pocket so we can get started. Or maybe you can have like just one freaking dollar, which I think is like really, really a lifesaver. So first of all, what I want to do is to have an account here into Shopify. It's going to be really, really easy to have an account. And of course, I do have a plan of three months uh, for only one dollar. I'm going to be leaving you a link down below in the description so you can have this one as well. So what I want to do is to get started with an actual dropshipping supplier. So first of all, what I want to do is to go directly into apps. Here it says apps. I'm going to locate the apps and sales channel settings, which is actually down here. I'm going to scroll into Shopify app store. And here in Shopify App Store, I'm going to locate an actual supplier that can be helping me to do the dropshipping. So I'm going to go here and type dropshipping. And it's going to be appearing a lot of apps that we can choose to get started with dropshipping. It's really, but really, really important that you choose a dropship and they can be a little bit more closer than you are if you are from the United States, you want to choose a US dropshipping supplier. If you are from the Europe, you want to choose a U. Uh, EU dropshipping supplier. That's, of course, a few stuff that we need to take in mind. So let's say, for example, I choose Spocket. So I choose Spocket and I have a free plan available, but I have only 14 day free trial. If you wanted to be like a really, really a long time inside making the dropshipping business, I wanted to totally suggest you to just choose a free one. You don't want to get charged monthly. So let's say that I choose, let's say for example, CA dropshipping. I already downloaded this, so I just choose to open the application. And if you download this for the very first time, it's going to be just really, really easy. You just need to create an account, uh, authorize this into Shopify, which is going to be making automatically, and boom, you are actually inside. So now, how can we make the actual drop shipping into Shopify? First of all, I want to locate the product that I wanted to sell. So I can go here where it says all categories. Let's go for fast shipping, for example, here. And it's going to be showing me a lot of stuff so where I can try to, let's say, choose like the best option for us. So let's say, for example, that I want to sell these actual portable blender juice cups. So I choose this option. So it's going to be popping up this new section where I can take a look into the one piece of shipping, the wholesale, the pre-order inventory. So I just want to make sure this one is the right for me. So we're going to go into list. And first of all, I wanted to select the store where I wanted to import this product, the shipping from, it says China, product type, let's say that I want to leave it like that, collections, vendor, uh, new. So as you can see, uh, we have actually a lot of products to sell here. So I'm going to go into add the recommended listing price because I don't know uh, how I wanted to sell it. Let's say that this one costs uh, $45. I have $7, $7, $7, $16. So let's say that I wanted to charge this and I want to head into less now. So the listing is in process. You may check the listing status and listing. Listed product can be managed and listed. So what I want to do is now to just wait a few seconds here. It might be just taking a few minutes. And then I wanted to go back into my Shopify and then make sure that my product has been added automatically into my store. So as you can see, these all elements are now being added as an actual uh, importing section of job shipping. So for example, I have this product, the status, the inventory, the type and the vendor. So we have into our inventory to sell 56,000 products for eight variants. So I think it's going to be really, really great to cover up for the next three months. So with that being said, I want to just make sure that my title, my description uh, are automatically added. As you can see here is I have the media, I have the variants, the showing variables. All of those elements are already been uploaded here, like really, really great. So I can go back. I can go back into my shop shipping and then what I want to do is to click into the X mark and this is the part where we don't want to do absolutely anything. 
let's go here into our actual account. I'm going to go into my account, I'm going to go into profile. And here I wanted to go directly into my actual products. So let's go into products. And here I wanted to just select the product that has been added automatically, which in my case are this one. So if I go into connection, I want to make sure that I have a synchronization of order synchronizations of the connected product. So that means that if I have the connection action, that means that my product and my actual CJ product are both connected. The product order are both connected. So that means when someone clicks in to buy this product inside my actual uh, Shopify store, this order is going to be appearing in here and automatically it's going to be appearing in here as well. In here as well, of course. So I don't have to do absolutely anything since these guys from CJ Dropshipping are already creating and of course sending the product into the address that was provided by the customer inside my Shopify store. And I didn't have to do absolutely anything. But you wanted to of course make sure that you wanted to notify your customer that you're going to be uh, sending the actual product now. So for that I need to just go into my orders and hit into choose the option that says uh, the order has been fulfilled and all that, but the order fulfillment automatically is going to be done into CA drop shipping, and they're going to be receiving some email uh, about the actual shipping codes, the shipping method, and all that. So I didn't have to do absolutely anything, and all of that has been automated by the CJ drop shipping. With that being said, this is how we can make something like totally for free. Now, if you still wanted to have more automation stuff, what I can totally suggest to you is just to make sure that you have the order fulfillment automatic stuff here. For example, it says add automated connection, connect your store products with the CA products quickly. But we have already been done that. And the CA fulfillment, let's go and select all my products. CA fulfillment, this feature is only applied to Shopify. Fulfilled by CJ, inventory managed by CJ. Let's get into confirmed. Syncing, please wait a moment. So what happened here is that now they're going to be taking care of the actual fulfillment and the automation of the actual sending product. You're going to be receiving your product. You can send us a message. You don't have to be in contact with all your customers. You just want to make sure that they received all the information about the actual order supplement. So there we go. We don't have to do absolutely anything and all the fulfillment order has been added automatically. Now with that being said guys, we have now reached into the very end of the video, so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more great tools and tips for the Shopify store and dropshipping suppliers. Thank you so much for watching the video guys, and well, I will see you on the next video. I'll see you soon.